Welcome back. Tonight, El Devo it kicks off their tour right here in the States. They are honoring the late Carlos Marine and this tour happening in Florida tonight, St. Petersburg, in fact. They have a few dates in Florida before they head to California. This is a greatest hits tour, an emotional one as well, and I sat down with El Devo recently. Let's take a look. Following the tragic passing of Il Divo's Carlos Marine, the remaining members of the multinational group, America's David Miller, Francis Sebastian Isambard, and Switzerland's Earl Bueller, are proceeding with their tour in tribute to Marine. They join us today to discuss the tour, which will be filled with Il Divo's hits from their vast catalog of songs. Thank you so much for joining us here at Park State Television. Absolutely. Hi, Hello. So tell us about your concert tour and your CD salute to Motown. Well, uh, this tour is um, a very different tour from anything we've done before. Um, firstly, because uh, the, the original idea is, is not what we're going to be presenting. The original tour was supposed to be uh, wrapped around our latest album, For Once in My Life, which is a celebration of the music of Motown. And that was meant to uh, debut in 2020. Um, and we were meant to go on tour in 2020, but 2020 um, broke. And so uh, with everything that happened, it just was not possible to continue. So we postponed. And uh, when we finally got to the point that we uh, could potentially go back out on tour, um, another tragedy uh, befell us and our bandmate uh, and dear friend, Carlos Marine, he uh, tragically passed away. So we had to figure out how to pick up the pieces from that, what we were going to do. And we got so much support from fans around the world who said, you must continue, you, you must go on. And, and so we decided to completely reconfigure everything and uh, we chose repertoire that's more like a greatest hits tour, but all of those greatest hits uh, and including uh, the Motown um, section that we're going to do, it's all kind of wrapped around this idea of uh, doing a tribute performance to Carlos. And during this recent concert tour, you all are going to be dedicating a moment to the recent passing. What can we expect to hear in that moment? Yeah, that's correct. We're going to be, um, I mean, the whole toys wrap around, you know, the last of our dear friend. Um, a lot of the songs like Without You, Hero, are messages that we feel are, you know, words that are dedicated to Carlos and songs that have been really big over the years with Carlos. So it's pretty much every numbers. And some of them, are, I mean, I don't want to say too much about surprises we have on stage, but we're going to be doing some stuff, you know, that are, the three of us here are very powerful uh, songs to Carlos. We're, uh, we have a special guest called Stephen Labrie that we are bringing on stage with us, who's going to be lending his voice to our songs. Um, and um, I think it's going to be extremely uh, emotional, you know, uh, up and down and an audience, you know, that will be uh, also reminding us of some memories. So it's really a powerful healing tour with lots of amazing memories of 17 years. And uh, I really hope a lot of people are gonna come and discover us and fans that will also come and take this journey with us. I, I really hope um, this will be a big tour. We feel very strong. And I know that Carlos will be with us every single night on this stage. New album is an incredible tribute to Motown. There are some favorite tracks on the album and what was the inspiration behind them? Um, well, the idea of creating this album actually uh, spruced in 2019 because 2020 would have been the 60th anniversary of the Motown label. 
And we were always over the years looking to do something that is kind of outside the box. And so that moment lent itself to look at the whole Motown genre, which to me personally, being Swiss, uh, was fairly unfamiliar. I would have heard the melodies, I knew the great songs, the great artists like a Marvin Gaye uh, or a Smokey Robinson, so I knew his name, but it was not repertoire that was like uh, very familiar to me. So we just dove into all that and tried to make a cross section of kind of what attracted us the most as songs. And then we were also looking to do collaboration with certain of the artists. Uh, and we're very, very happy, very excited that we have got uh, duets on that album with Smokey Robinson, songs of his that he actually re-recorded with us. We sing together with Boys to Men. We have got a duet with Marvin Gaye, which we got the permission from the estate to actually use his voice as a duet. Very, very exciting stuff. And yeah, it's kind of our, essential Motown, the stuff that we thought we could adapt to the old Devo sound. It was very challenging, but it's very, very positive, very uplifting, very, very exciting music. I'm very excited to present it to the audience. We're all very excited to hear it and see it. Where can we find more information about the new CD and the tour? Well, the best place to find uh, information about uh, the new CD and also the tour uh, is our website, ildevo.com. Uh, we also post updates on social media. Just find the official blue checked uh, accounts of Ildevo or Ildevo official um, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And yeah, we're going to be posting some stuff on. Uh, on YouTube as well. And, you know, maybe we'll branch out into TikTok. Uh, who knows? <laughs> but it's out there, ildevo.com. Thank you so much, all of you, David, Sebastian, and Earth, for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. So excited to hear the CD and find out more and watch this incredible tour honoring with all of you honoring the late Carlos Marie. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you very much for having us.